Hey, what's up? It's Rob in Connecticut. You know, when we first started making maple syrup, we did it right out here. We had an open fire, I had aluminum roasting pans, the disposable roasting pans, and we would sit in front of that and we'd make maple syrup. I loved everything about it when we started, tapping the trees, hauling the sap, getting the wood for the evaporator, but I hated filtering the syrup. Now, when we first started, used a coffee filter, used some clean t-shirts, and it was always messy, frustrating, took too long. So after two years of doing it, doing the syrup outside, we bought the evaporator that you see in all of my other videos. And with that, we decided to go with real filters. I bought felt filter and also some of the Orlan uh, pre-filters. So we started filtering our syrup with this and I hated it. Too much waste, too messy, and it was just something I didn't want to get involved in while we were making maple syrup. I was happy boiling, but I was not into filtering at all. Then I watched a YouTube video. It was an old timer making maple syrup, and what he did, once he got his syrup to the consistency where he wanted it, instead of filtering it, he poured it all into the old timey milk jugs, the big metal cans, and he just let it settle. So when I heard that, I had to try it. Once I did that, I never went back. I haven't filtered any of our syrup since then. So everyone always asks, how long does it take? So here's what I did. This year, we've got all our batches set up. We've got batches one and two. We did those together. Batch number three, four, and five. These cans, they've been settling for 54 days. Batch number three has been settling for 49 days. So here's what it looks like. 49 days since I poured it into the jar. Not too bad. We've got all your nitre and sugar sand settling on the bottom. And if you look close, you can see this line here where it's really clear up top and it's still a little bit hazy on the bottom. Now this syrup tastes delicious, just like it is in the jar. It just doesn't look as nice as some of the syrup you see on the shelves. But there it is, that's all there is to it. Click on the link and you can see how we canned this syrup. It's episode five, finishing and canning using a hydrometer in our Making Maple Syrup series. So once you have your syrup in your jars and they're settled, all you need to do when you're ready to can them, if you want to give them away or sell them, pour off the clear syrup, heat it up to 185 degrees, put it in new cans, seal it, and you're good to go. That's the whole process right there. And I've got another video coming up showing you exactly how we do that, so look forward to that. If you're just starting out making maple syrup, or even if you've been doing it for a while, try this process. Save a half gallon or a quart just to see how it works for you. I gotta tell you, it's nice when you're in the middle of the boiling season, running around bringing in your firewood, your sap and all that, to not have to worry about filtering your syrup. We've got a bunch more on the shelf, and as we give it away, all I have to do is do pack it in different batches, and it makes life really easy.